Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Before I begin the video, first of all, I would like to ask a simple question to you. Okay, students, very simple. See, if you want to find out a particular location, what do you do? Yes, and if you don't know the location, what, what do you do, students? Yes, yes, correct, absolutely. You find out the location on the map. Yes, but nowadays in mobile we have GPS system or Google Maps. So we directly type the name of the location on the map and then we can find out the location. So here, if you want to find out the location, we need to find it in the map. Isn't it? So maps are very useful to us. In the previous video, we have learned about the graticule, the earth and the graticule. Okay, students, we have learn the earth and graticule what do you mean by graticule also we have learned okay student now so today we are going to learn about map lesson number three comparing a globe and a map field visit okay students okay yes so here in the first video or in the previous video we have learned about the imaginary lines on the earth or the imaginary lines on the globe as well as we have studied the parallels of latitude and longitude also we have studied what is the graticule okay the net the formation of the net on the globe is called as the graticule okay student have you understood this now today we are going to study the difference between a map and a globe yes do you have any idea about this what is the difference between the map and the globe okay yes have you students okay so let me tell you okay watch it and listen it very carefully so that you will understand what is map and what is a globe okay students so let's get started hello friends have you recognized me who am i i am your friend my name is map yes student i am map I'm very useful to you. I tell you a location of a particular place. Do you know how am I? I am flat. What do you mean by flat student? Yes, the thing that has surface is known as flat. Okay, so I am flat. Okay, students. I show you the entire area of the earth at the same time. Yes, you can see the entire earth. Okay, student. Yes. For example, you can see continents, countries, states, cities. Okay. Yes. So, as well as I have two dimensions. I am two dimensional map. What do you mean by two dimensional map now? Yes, two dimensional means I have a length and width. Okay, student. I have length and width. So, People called me two-dimensional map. Okay, student, have you understood? Very good. And the product of length and width forms or defines area. The area of map. Okay, student, have you understood now? Yeah, I am map. I am flat, okay, I am two-dimensional and one more important thing is that you can see the entire earth on map, okay, student, this is important, okay, 
नाइस टू मीट यू ओके स्टूडेंट बाय डू यू नो हु एम आई आई एम ग्लोब द जियोग्राफर्स एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ जियोग्राफी यूज मी टू स्टडी I tell you the exact location on the surface of the earth. I am round in shape. I am spherical. Okay student. I can show you only one side of the earth at a time. Okay? I am called as a model of earth. Okay? I am known as a model of earth. okay i am used as a representative model of the earth okay i am used as a representative model of earth okay students yes i am spherical just now i told you how am i i am spherical in shape spherical means what सर्कल और सर्कुलर राउंड इन शेप ओके स्टूडेंट एंड आई कैन शो यू ओनली वन साइड ऑफ माइंड एट अ टाइम ओके यस अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट हु एम आई आई एम अ ग्लोब ओके students do you want to know more about me okay yes do you know geographical museum yeah very good altha is the largest operational globe in the world it is housed in yarmus in the state of maine in the united states of america okay student and in this museum the earth has kept in a such a way that it has maintained the rotation and the revolution speed of this globe is as the real earth okay student have you understood yes so one of the largest museums in in the world is geographical museum in this geographical museum altha is the largest operational globe in the world it is housed in yarmus in the state of maine in the united states of america okay student have you understood now very good okay thank you students one more important thing i would like to tell you that i am three dimensional globe yes what is three dimensional globe now do you know the three dimensional objects yes let me explain you okay students observe all these diagrams all these diagrams are three dimensional okay three dimensionals means that an object has height width and length okay student so here different diagrams are there all are three dimensionals okay yes what is included in three dimensionals height width and length Okay student have you understood now yes we know that 3d movies we say 3d pictures we say okay it means it has height width and length okay student have you understood now student very good just now we have studied the difference between map and the globe students if you want to study geography then we have to make the map and globe as a friend okay we have to make friendship with map and globe okay we should be quite aware about map and globe so that we can understand geography properly okay and again one more important thing 
is here that if you want to learn geography if you want to study geography then field visit is one of the best methods to learn geography okay student yearly schools have field visits okay we have a trip yes have you enjoyed any trip uh, yeah have you enjoyed any trip yes very good so always the school have a visit okay there are different types of visit okay historical visit geographical visit okay recreational visit yes yeah so here geographical visit is very important to study or to get knowledge about geography okay when we have a geographical visit we learn about the geographical features of that region as well as the social conditions okay so what is included in geographical conditions see in geographical conditions all the geographical features are included all the natural things in the environment all the natural things on the earth are involved uh, or included in the geographical conditions in geographical conditions mountains plateaus terrain rivers trees forests soil farming agriculture all these things are included in geographical condition as well as just now i told you that we can learn about the social conditions through the field visit how do we know or how do we learn about the social condition of people then so see whenever we have a field visit we interact with the people okay we interact with the people and during this interaction we get a lot of knowledge about the social conditions okay about the social condition so what is included in social conditions now in social conditions the economical condition is included the living lifestyle of the people is included okay the food is included their diet is included so all these things just now i mentioned that all are included in social conditions and all these things are directly or indirectly linked to the geographical conditions so when we have a field visit we learn about the geographical condition as well as we learn about the social conditions of that place okay student have you understood this now okay very good as well as we learn about the problems of the people through the interaction when when we have a interaction whenever we go anywhere we talk with with the people we talk we have a conversation with the people who are belong to that particular region okay so that directly indirectly we could able to understand their problem too through this interaction okay student have you understood very good now student to have a field visit with the help of teacher you can visit various places which have the geographical features okay why do we have such kind of visit to understand the geographical conditions as well as the social conditions so which are these places to be visited now student with the help of teacher you can visit planetarium you can visit mall you can visit the coastal area that means coast you can visit mountains you can visit rivers okay any place you can visit okay student i mean you can know the geographical feature of that place okay before that we have to do preparation with your teacher okay students so you can visit such kind of different places student to understand the geographical conditions as well as to have a social interaction with the people you can make a questionnaire what is questionnaire questionnaire is a set of questions okay so you can prepare a questionnaire with the help of teacher so that you can ask questions to the people where you have visited okay student so you can get a proper information about the social condition as well as the geographical condition of that place so you need to prepare a questionnaire to have interaction with the people as well as i student one of the important thing is that that you have to note down all the responses in your notebook so that you can understand it properly okay student have you understood this much very good so student we have learned today the difference between map and globe and we have learned the two dimensional map and the three dimensional globe we have studied okay student and we have studied about the field visit 
एंड हाउ टू मेक अ क्वेश्चन आयर एट द लास्ट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द जियोग्राफिकल म्यूजियम अल्था ओके स्टूडेंट हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस ऑल वेरी गुड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो लाइक इट शेयर इट टू योर फ्रेंड्स डू नॉट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू विल गेट द करंट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू वीडियो ओके स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड थैंक यू बी कनेक्टेड